Hey, Merbico team! Today, we're unboxing something really special. A package I received as a gift from the store The Crafting Ant. Huge thanks to them for the trust and for sending me all this amazing gear to try out. By the way, I'll be testing all the equipment shown at the end of the video. And if you're interested, there's a little 10% discount across the entire The Crafting Ant website with the code ALEXFORMIS10. <clears throat> all right, let's get into the unboxing. The package is super well packed, Honestly, nothing moved during shipping. Let's open this gently. And right away, I see the medium flex nest. It looks awesome. Compact, but well-designed with two clearly defined chambers. The finish is clean and the transparent cover makes it easy to observe what's going on inside. Right underneath, there's the small flex nest. Even smaller, but just as handy for young colonies or testing setups. And now, wow the large flex nest. This is next level. Four large chambers, four small ones. You can tell this is made for more advanced colonies. It's modular, clear, and really sleek. Next, I find a bag of crushed lava. Now that's perfect for decorating foraging areas or even for creating a nice contrast in textures. Plus it gives a great natural look. Just after that, I pull out a jaw drinker and honestly, it looks great. Not something you usually say about a water feeder, but this one has real style. Then there's a little seed feeder, ideal for granivorous species. The size is perfect and the access is clearly well thought out for ants. Next up, I find a small bag filled with accessories. Inside, there are the smiley trays, those tiny dishes that are perfect for serving honeydew or proteins. Plus they have cute little faces, which adds a nice touch. I also discover a double drinker. This one's really clever. Two reservoirs in one base. It's smart and saves space in the foraging area. And finally, there are all kinds of connectors to link the nests together. And what's really cool is that everything clicks into place easily. No forcing, everything's compatible and smooth. Honestly, the design is super well thought out. It's clean, it's functional, and I can't wait to see how it performs with real colonies. And now, time for the tests. I'll start by showing you the small flex nest, which is now home to a lovely colony of Aphinogaster subterranea. It's a small species of Aphinogaster, not very well known, but really beautiful, with a kind of coppery coloration and a super cute queen. They settled in quickly, and you can see them really comfortable inside. Next, we move on to the medium flex nest. This one was also adopted very fast, this time by a young colony of Formica fusca. It's a species I really like, very active, and the nest size suits them perfectly. They've started organizing the space. You can already see well-defined areas with brood and activity all around. And then we finish with the big one, the large flex nest. Again, it's a colony of Formica fusca that moved in, but much more developed than the previous one. There are ants everywhere, a big healthy brood, and I managed to capture a moment I find just magical larvae spinning their cocoons inside the nest. It's something I had never filmed so clearly before, and honestly, it was totally worth it. Finally, I also tested the smiley trays with my tapenoma. I put a bit of sugary liquid and a small piece of cockroach in there, and visually it looks really nice. The contrast between the tray color, the food, and the ants moving around makes for a really pleasing sight. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, write the word flex in the comments. I'll know you're part of the real team.